everybody. We are from Johnson County, like you said, and basically a major problem that we saw in our community is a lack of unity and um, a bunch of people who are misinformed. So what we've been trying to do is to help inform people better and then help everyone like bring the community together and we thought like what better way to do that than technology. So we have been um, been able to well, we are going to be able to implement four Wi-Fi hotspots around our community that will give 24-7 free access uh, to high-speed Wi-Fi for members of our community, and that we think that will really help everyone um, come together and stay informed. Um, like um, everybody in the community is going to be able to use this, these Wi-Fi hotspots. So like students will be able to do their work outside of school because Paintsville's one to one. So everybody has laptops, but what good is a laptop if you don't have Wi-Fi? So that'll help with students. And then all other community members will just get to use the Wi-Fi. And something cool that we're doing with these Wi-Fi hotspots hot is like a virtual tour of Paintsville that is like history and just information about the town. So. And so to choose the different historical sites that will be included within the tour, we surveyed the city and we found over 50 of the different sites that we could use. But because of cost, convenience, and location of the tour, we chose about 20. And back to the hot spots, we've noticed that a lot of people, they've been, you know, they would be sitting on the ground if they were at these hot spots. They wouldn't be very comfortable. So to, you know, improve this, we decided that we would spend some of the grant money to implement benches at some of these key hot spots. And this will allow students or whoever is using this Wi-Fi to, you know, be more comfortable or enhance their learning experience. Uh, one of the things that also uh, we're doing with the uh, in addition to the hotspots around the community, is we're going to extend the Wi-Fi signal of our schools, um, the two schools that we have at Paintsville Independent and the uh, six schools that they have in Johnson County. Um, so we're going to extend that so that folks can come to the parking lot. Maybe we'll have some of those benches will be there. and Folks can use the Wi-Fi um, in those areas as, as well. And so we're going to try to do that. We're working with our public library. Um, they already have a walking tour. Um, as um, Sarah talked about. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to create videos so these folks can go on the walking tour by themselves using these hot spots around town. They'll be able to uh, scan a QR code. We're going to put up historical markers. Uh, they'll be bronze and um, be very nice and, and we'll have a spot where they can slide in um, a QR code. We'll make some videos and the folks can take the virtual tour themselves. They, they can walk on it and then somebody, and it'll be our students, will be reading um, and creating the videos and so they'll be able to talk about, like for example, the Mayo Mansion that we have in town. The kids will be able to talk about that. Or they'll be able to hear the kids talking about that and they'll see it and take pictures on the inside and some of that kind of stuff. So um, a lot going on with our and so it's kind of like, since we share community, and so there's kind of two projects in one, the walking tour and the hotspots, but they will work together to use those. Anything else, Noel? No, I can't think of anything. Any yeah, any questions? About? Whoops, sorry. Anything? We've had, some, we've had a lot of success in the past uh, several years. The two schools have worked together on different projects, but we feel like that this is something that will have a, a very lasting impact. I think something that will be there for a long time to come. And we've even got some sustainability. We probably didn't talk about that, yeah. but uh, we do have the, the public library is um, interested in this because they want to be able to get their resources out better to people. So hopefully through them and uh, Appalachian Wireless has agreed to partner uh, with us in, in terms of helping us locate the best uh, areas and how we could you know put those hotspots up. So um, we, we feel like with some community partnerships, tourism, uh, and you know, library and different groups that, w that we can develop a sustainability plan that this will keep on going after we're through this year.